Hi guys, welcome! Take some time to subscribe and click on the notification bell icon to see our future content as soon as it's uploaded. Give us a like and enjoy the video! Hello Zenbox people! Welcome to a new Zenbox video. This one will be an educational one and it may sort some weird problems that sometimes tend to show up during PC assembly or sometimes during the setup process. In preparation for a full build we are going to show you how to update the BIOS on our motherboard. It's the B450 Tomahawk by MSI. The similar procedures can be applied for most vendors. First we need to visit the MSI's product page for this motherboard. And we are going to check some basic specifications. After that, click on the support tab and it will bring us to the BIOS update. Here you can see all of the previous BIOS versions, the ones released since the board came to the market. There may or may not be any beta versions of the BIOS, so we are going to download the latest fully released version. The one important tip we have for you is we recommend grabbing the latest stable versions for your particular board, as betas may or may not be good, and they could cause you more problems. Next, let's check out the manual. That might be pretty handy as it has a full update procedure explained and it's very easy to follow. Let's scroll down to the table of contents so we can move on to the setup process. Here you can see three different ways of going about BIOS update. You can use either of those depending on your conditions. First one is the M flash method. This one requires for the CPU to be installed and it's the easiest and the fastest way. And this is the method we are going to show you in this video. Second way is via Live Update 6. This is a software solution from MSI and it allows you to update the BIOS directly from Windows. It also requires fully built system. The third method is via Flash BIOS button. For this one the CPU doesn't need to be installed. Only the power is required to the board. It's done similarly to the M flash method as it uses USB drive with a BIOS file on it. So let's move on and start our preparations. Locate where you downloaded the BIOS file. Double click on the zipped file and choose the location where you want the files to be extracted. Next, plug in your USB time drive into a USB port, locate the drive and perform a quick format. This is a short process takes just a few seconds. Once that's done, copy the BIOS file to the drive and make sure that's the only file on there. Now we are going to switch to the camera view. After you copied the BIOS files, just restart the PC. During that, Hulk smash that delete button or whichever button is required for you to enter the BIOS. Wait a few seconds till the BIOS screen shows up and there we are. Head on to the M flash tab so the process can start. Click on this and the system reboot button will show up. Select yes and the PC will now restart. A few moments later. This time during the restart you don't need to smash any keys just let the process do its thing. And here we are. The BIOS update is getting started. Now you select the device you are going to flash the BIOS from. This next step, select the BIOS file from the device and here we wait. Depending on the size and version of the BIOS, this may take a while. Make sure you don't remove the USB drive or shut the PC off, or you may end up with the motherboard paperweight instead. If this was interrupted in any way, it's a dead motherboard. Our update took almost no time and after it's completed, the PC will restart again. But this time we are going straight to the windows. And that's about it. Here you can see your current BIOS version. Tell us in the comments down below, did you ever update the BIOS? If you liked the video, toss us a like, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See ya soon. Sandbox out.